Hi all and welcome to the video in this one. It's Let's Build a Tune, number 49. So, in this one, it's just a bit of a day in the life, really, <laughs> of Fatty. Because, basically, he's still grinding some research. So, just to recap where we're at here. We're, we're getting there, but you can see there's a lot we need to be getting on with. Human resources, we knock that one off. That's given us 20 extra in cents. We need to get this done, because that's giving us 25 in, in intelligence. Apotheosis, I might get that done straight away, just for the extra bit of comp lit, etc. We'll make twinking a couple of different items on just a little bit easier, I think. And the rest of them, I'm definitely wanting that one. <laughs> and, well, all of them are incredibly useful, so we will be getting Apotheosis done as well on Fatty before finishing him off as far as twinkings concerned so i'm just doing the uh the regular kind of daily here so first off i'm going to go off and uh try and get a doja now sometimes you'll get one in one kill and sometimes it will take 30 plus kills it really is quite random now i think the kind of hoorah with the new apotheosis uh, research line has calmed down a bit now so hopefully um, we're going to be finding plenty of mobs oh, that one's been calmed but that could just be someone running to get saved in inferno had a bit of fun yesterday when i logged in we've got a, a guildy and another calmed one it could be someone doing a run, I would think. Probably is, because they've left that behind. Yeah, they were they're running a, a level 1 to Pand. No idea why anyone would want to go to that much trouble. But apparently, they will. <laughs> so we were trying to get them through Sheol, which has all the nasty little spirits there. Now that's tricky at the appropriate level. It's also damned tricky if you're trying to do that with a level one character so we had fatty there running through and trying to keep up on with the calming of everything that was in there no i don't want you go away go away not interested you don't drop anything we need no you don't Yeah, but it was because their run speed was so slow at level 1, they were really struggling to actually... Nope, nothing we want there. They were struggling to get through, and I, even with a 7 minute calm, we were struggling to keep everything calm while they ran through. And a lot of these mobs were hidden in walls, so I couldn't calm them or kill them, and... Yes, you can attack that Carla. Anything? Oh no, another remains of. You, I will calm. Do I have? I don't think I do. There we go. Don't need an insignia. Yeah, there was one kind of mini boss that was stuck in a wall. A little Hothian guy just as you get up the ramp. And um, we couldn't calm him. He was. Oh, Pearl. He just wouldn't come out of the wall. And he was absolutely determined to kill this little level one. So it was kind of funny.
Okay, so how many is that? Not sure. I'll count up at the end of the video. <laughs> See how many it takes this time. The last time I came out to do this, there was a guy trying to do the uh, safari or spirits quest. I can't remember which it is. And um, stood there and calmed everything there except for the boss that he wanted. So we could get it done. It's quite good fun. Nope. Well, at least we're not fighting with uh, ten other players. And you seem to have taken a lot of damage. I am casting the right one. I CEO Guardian. Yeah. Hmm. Odd. Another remains. Oh, it's teasing us. Teasing us. Usually Minion heals a lot faster than that on his own as well. So one of these must have really hit him hard. Or several of them even. We're definitely doing a little bit more damage with the nukes now. It's all helping. Let's see. Oop, pearl. Not to be sneezed at. Especially once you've um, run a Jensen over them. They're quite good at selling them in shops. And as you can see, yes, I'm using the DSR mode so I can run in 1440p, which we like. So someone's been over there. I think that's... Oh no, that's one of the guys we want. Probably picked up... Oh, I thought that would be... Um, one of the higher tier mobs that kind of hangs around there. Carlo seems to be taking a lot of damage from these little things. Ah, Argdef, yeah. Don't want you. You guys do not drop. Empty mob again. I don't remember these two taking this much damage last time we were here. Pretty sure I don't. Behind me, minions. Right, okay. Maybe something changed. I don't remember there being a patch, or maybe it's entirely my imagination. Yeah, there's usually one hidden in... No, not today. Uh-huh. won't be hitting now, will you? No, you will not. Okay. Oh, another empty mob. There's usually one stuck inside there you can get, but it would seem not today. At least they go down reasonably quick now. Nope. Another Omni Insignia. Or Unredeemed Signature. Uh, insignia, to be more accurate. Did he land something on me then? Kind of looked like he did. Look, no. I 
was going to say, be lucky. Not this one. It's very murky here, isn't it? When, oop, when the sun's not out. Damn it. Come on. Drop. Drop me a doja. Doja. Come on, doja. No. It's kind of almost difficult to see by virtue of the fact that it's murky. It looks so much better when the sun is out. <laughs> well, you know, the lighting's doing things. Ah, oh, damn it. Come on. Right. Should get one in at least one run. We hopefully don't have to run the whole thing twice. Because... That's not really much of an interesting video, is it? And I do think about that while I'm recording. I don't think, yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter what I do, they'll, they'll, they'll just watch it. Because I think, no, they won't. <laughs> They're going to look and go, this is boring, and stop watching. No, that would be quite rude. That's weird, isn't it? Look, 35, 40 frames a second, 71 frames a second. 82, 52. Really doesn't know what it wants to do there, does it? It doesn't feel like it's dropped that much even as I'm playing, though. Even though the counter's saying that it has. Let me guess. Discourage involvement. See a lot of those. And calm down. Another insignia. Well, if we needed insignias. We'd be having a field day. However, we want a doja. And uh, it's looking like we're not getting one at the moment. I think we're running out of mobs here as well. Hate to say it, but it doesn't look like we're going to get one. At uh, this moment in time, it looks like we're going to have to run the whole thing again. <sighs> Damn. I think there's maybe one or two on the hill, and then that's it. You'll do. Mr. Just Spawn this second. Me saying last time, when you get a, a broken doja from one, usually you'll get a real doja from another hasn't happened today <laughs> oh, come on drop me a doja I demand it no, I don't think we're getting one we're going to have to go all the way back to the other end pretty sure <sighs> annoying but yeah it can be that way sometimes don't think there's no they're just those quest mobs over there and that's pr probably about it a little glitch then hmm oh missed one somewhere just out of line of sight oh a stack of them here 
I don't usually see them here. Well, at least I don't remember seeing so many here. Nope, not out of that one either. So you. Am I running my crocs? I am. Well, they're just queuing up to be killed. Come on, game, you're making this a bit boring. more over there to finish off and then I suppose we'll have to go back to the beginning. We shall have no choice because we won't have any more mobs to play with. I think that's the proc that's rooting him. It's not something I'm directly casting anyway. be able to loot. Yes, but it won't drop anything. Come on. Come on. Lucky number 579. No. Ah. <sighs> Yes, we are heading back. That prox kind of tasty, isn't it? Seems to be landing an awful lot as well. Hello. No. Nothing. These have respawned up. seem to be doing a bit better suddenly. Superior Charm Bewilder. I don't think I've had that from here before. I don't think it's really worth much, but we'll take it anyway, just in case. Now, um, I get the feeling someone's already run through here, looking at the way those mobs spawned. So it could be someone ran through, got the doja they wanted, and that's why spawn's a bit sparse for us. Hard to say. It's going to be a very long video of a crap running around Inferno trying to pick up a bloody doja this is at this rate. At least we're getting a little bit of XP towards research. 
The, the end goal being to get a lot of XP towards research as soon as we hand in the doja. <sighs> dear, oh dear. Yeah, got to respawn over here. At least on one, anyway. No. Still no. Should we hang around here and wait? Oh, there's one. Let's say if he's respawned, pretty sure that was one of the first that we killed, then we're probably going to be okay on the others. Dun dun dun, doja! Told you, doja. Good to go, okay. So let's get that mission. Zap. Yeah, oh, 88 frames a second. 30. <laughs> Nuts. It doesn't actually feel like that many in the game, though. It feels like a consistent kind of 60 to me. I'm not entirely sure. Right, let's head on out. Hand this one in, and then... Do, do, do. I think I've got Warden Stain somewhere. Did I not get that? Yes, I did. Yeah, so we'll do a quick Prisoner as well. And Frontier Bridge. Yay. Did we ever run through here with Fatty? I can't remember. I must have done at some point. It would make sense. Let's see if we can dodge Drake. Drake, no. Dodged him. Nice. I always feel like that's a, a mini-game within Anarchy Online. Avoid Rodriguez Drake. He was still in the old SL startup area. I wouldn't mind so much. He was actually useful then. They have found the doji chip. Oh, thank you for returning it. Goodbye. Now, how are we looking? Getting there slowly. Right, okay, we need Warden Stains. Or oh, East Stains. Whatever. That truck's going in the flowers armour. I should maybe do that. Get some flowers. <laughs> Just cosmetically wear it. I'm fatty. That might be kind of cool. At the moment, he's wearing one of the Nomad cloaks. Just for the extra bit of nano to make calms and nukes just slightly more effective because his base damage isn't that great. Okay. Now we could grid to West Athen, but for a change I'm going to run there just because the game's not dead. It's dead, why'd you play that game? Because it's a very good game. And it isn't dead. Uh, this whole wall thing. Who's been here long enough to remember before the walls were actually here? I was. And do you know what used to be in this water? And isn't anymore? Can you guess? Yeah, well, I'll tell you. There used to be sharks in it. Quite high level sharks. Now... Those could not get out of the water. I mean, if you were about this close, they would do damage to you. Quite a lot of damage. But if you stood about here, they couldn't. And if you were ranged, or an NT, you could stand here killing them and get an awful lot of XP for it. 
well, what was considered an awful lot of XP at that time. So people would actually do that in teams and kill the sharks until when we we still had, you know, actual GMs in the game spotted what we were doing and uh, put a stop to it by putting those walls in and removing the sharks. Fun days. Used to be piranhas in here as well. I don't think there are. I think they removed a lot of the animals from the water. That used to be fun with an NT and AOEs. And West Athen. It's quite a good area. We used to hang here. This used to be my very first guild. Used to always be sat up on here and then use this little office door here. We used to use this as our office. We used to have a game to see if you could get up on these beams on the roof. I don't know if I can still do it. I probably can't. It was a tricky jump to make, especially at like level 180 or something. Or level 200. Maybe they blocked it. Oh no, there we go. Still got it. And then you had to ugh, land on that last one and sit down and then hide from people. And they'd come in and you'd be talking away in vicinity and they were going, are you in sneak? Are you in sneak? Another guild called Synergy Factor used to hang around along here by the mission terminals and the billboard. This would be kind of cool. And then you had basic shop. A flagged person up there. The original clan subway entrance. That was good. Backyard for twinking. Then you had an advanced shop here. And all the way over here, a little general shop. It's uh, pretty nice. That's the superior one in there. And then lots of little rooms you can actually enter. People used to role play quite a bit here. Anyway, enough of a trip down memory lane. Let's go and talk to the Troxin Flowers. Wooden Stains, it's me again. At your service. Let's go for... Diseased. Thank you. Let's get there. Uh, go via Harry's, I think it's going to be the easiest. Can go via 2HO and do some Wampa hopping, but in between one of them, you tend to crash quite easily if you're using the new engine. It's one of those problematic zones. It's a lot easier to sort of go this way. Even though it seems a bit longer. If you crash and you have to restart the game. It's no faster going that way. Right, we want one of these. I think maybe we should play some epic music as we fly along. I don't know. Not even slightly phallic, is it? <laughs> That's ridiculous. It was the free one. That's why we used it. I'm listening to the background noise of the game. Yeah. Different animal noises. And you go to different areas. A lot of people have the sound turned off, and I think that's a massive shame. You just sort of fly around and actually listen to the world. It's quite interesting. What boots did we have on those? Right, we're nearly there, he says, in a kind of hopeful way. So we'll get this done and we'll, we'll call that an episode because there's not really a lot. I need to get all his base abilities and everything else as high as possible before we attempt uh, getting a few beaters in, especially with him being Atrox. Oh, hello. Looks like people is already here. How's he doing? So 
Hey. Hey, got team. Thanks. Where the hell my pets are? Right there. Okay, what's he got on him? Okay, let's get the laze. Let's get that on him. And nuke armor. Fatty, is it somebody that knows who we are, or has uh, possibly watched the video? She's kind of cool. My inspiration. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I'm sorry about that. This crap because of you. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, never mind. Uh, well, you're in a video, dude. in a video now, dude. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Right, okay. Warping out and later, so let's walk back to Tyr. Well, it's nice when people say stuff like that. I made this crap because of you. Yeah, look at that, I got the swagger, which means basically I've managed to press a key somewhere. Yeah, there we go. The overtly blue water of Tyr. Remains overtly blue. It looks so much better in Broken Shores. Can't we have the same colour water if it's going to be coloured? It's just a shame it's not actually... Oh. And I think we crashed. Yep. Yep, we crashed, but never mind. Yeah, I was going to say, we should have real reflections in the water for DX9. But we don't. It's not that great of an engine. Right, we need to go back to Warden Staines, who is West Athen. And... Talk to him, and then we can hand this mission in. And creep ever closer to finishing research. There we go. Uh, he should be so, uh, somewhere around here, I'm thinking. Yep. Still where we left him. Rodenstein's another dead prisoner. Uh, we'll have green because we're not making a cloak and it doesn't matter. I should probably make one for Fatty. I don't know. Apparently it is a thing. Apparently it's a thing, so it might be worth doing. I don't know. Now someone was telling me you still get some research for doing the easy version of the VP dailies. You certainly get the VP points. Um, so say you do tower tag, so you're not really engaging in PvP. You can still pretty much get quite a lot of research you don't get a lot of XP though but um, you know like 
if you're 205 or whatever, you don't get a lot of SK. Uh, my reward now. Yes, you can. There you go. So we're getting 90 million or whatever it is because we're on a level 10 research. Ooh, three buffs. So just to sort of check that out, I want to see how much truth there is in that. And apparently it, um, the way it's set up now, you don't even have to tag, apart from the control tower, you don't have to tag actual omni targets. So I'm going to dump the pets. There we go. Yeah, pets and tower fields, that can go very, very wrong. Especially if you're in level range of one. The turrets can't aggro a pet and then suddenly decide that was fun and your pet decides it's going to fight back and then suddenly you've declared war on some random guild whose base you didn't want in the first place so yeah it's um yeah unless you're there to do something you know quite deliberate at a tower field don't take your pets into one so i've done it before truth be told i've been flying past you know i'm in a yalm miles up in the air. Of course, the pets are technically running along the ground. You hand out mission. Uh, have some easy stuff for me to take care of. Notum sites are pretty hot. Okay. Now, I have no idea where to go and look for a, an Omni site. Where's our percentages at? Uh, ooh, that's pretty good. Um, 18%. So, yeah could be a lot we've got a few tower fields so I can probably get a few done in one of our own bases everybody in a line paradise all lined up and one from core hmm what are they up to they're always up to something can't trust the Omni uh, let's have a look no, just broken shores Let's go and have a look there. Hopefully not crash again. Right, okay. So the first one you have to tag is a... No, that's solar. I think it's massive Karen. Where are we? Reclaim the lands. Massive cannon turret. Uh, let's have a look. Is that triggering? Yep, massive cannon. Sam battery. We've got a couple here. This is only a little lobby base. We're building a little squad to defend it as well. Okay, Sam battery. Ransacking. Probably haven't got a ransacking in a base this low, I don't think. Transfer. Doesn't look like it. Transfer. Life. No. These are just for little um, little twinks, I think. No. I don't have a detailed plan of what's here, so... No. I don't think we've got a ransacking here. Let's have a look at... Let's detach the planet map a minute. Expand it. And if we look at the big map, on Savix it's not as clear as it is on the other one. So I'm going to switch to select map and we'll go for AORK. You can see, actually see the tower fields here. So I know there's one that way. Okay, that's clan. Uh, there's one southeast. That's clan. And then there's another one a bit further down from him. That's clan. Okay, then there's the two down near there. Follow the river. I think we've gone past it now. Okay, that's bottom left corner. I think we're way past it there. Are we? No, that's clan as well. And then there's a little... That's it. So there's, there's no omni bases in Broken Shores. We're going to have to go elsewhere to find one. Now, without going to the um, to the website and looking, I don't really know where I'm going to find one. I might find a ransacking tower in one of the other bases, though. I'm not entirely sure. 
I mean, there's actual PvP gas around here natively, whether or not there's a base here. See, look how much better that water looks than the one in tier. The one in tier looks like blue loo. It's something we used to have when I, <laughs> back in the 70s, which was blue bloody toilet cleaner. We used to put a blue thing in the uh, cistern and it turned all the, the water blue with bleach so you knew the bleach was in the water which is you know that's that's cool that's healthy that's you know keeps the bacteria down it's doing its job but it looks ridiculous in the water at tear and it, it every time i see it i think the same thing I think, oh god you know Now, Omni probably have something half decent out in perpetual wastelands, I would have thought. I mean, they may not. Difficult to know for sure. I haven't been checking on PvP stuff in quite a while. So, I don't honestly know. Um, let's nip to Mort and have a look on the playfield map, see what we've got. The thing is, you can, there's no point making any kind of tutorial for this because you might be watching it a year from now and I guarantee you pretty much every single base will have changed hands. Okay, so for the, here there should be, there's a big one north, so let's have a look. Neutral, apparently. One control tower, neutral. That's a waste of a base, isn't it? Okay, and... Ah, there's an Omni one there. That'll probably do. So that is this one. So we want to be going south, slightly east, I think. Now, it's the only thing missing on Sabic's map is the outline of the actual Notum fields. But given how many people PvP these days... Ugh. Yeah, let's not go there. Am I going the right way? Yeah, you got... It's cool, this one. You've got inner outer base. So you've got a clan on the outside, Omni on the inside. I do remember at one point, with careful placement, if both bases were hot at the same time, the towers would fight each other. That was quite interesting. We wanted what? A ransacking turret. There's not much left up here. Might find one though. What are you? Transfer. A lot of conductors here. Conductors are much weaker than... Ah, there we go. There's our ransacking. We now want... Fire sprouting turret. Yeah. I mean, that's a good cluster, but there's not much turret action going on. Corrosive. Must have a fire somewhere. Someone must have planted one. No. You got anything further on? A few that way. Let's go have a look. Any in the Moni base? There we go, and then we want a turret. Um, a turret, tower. So what level we put down? 169, interesting. You can plant up to two quality 210 inside this base. That's quite a low control tower to put down. That's a messy built base, that. It really is. That is not how you make clusters. I think this one might have looked better but I think it's probably been battered a bit 
Difficult plot to build on. How do I know? Because I've built on literally every plot on Rubicar at some point or another. Over the years, I think, Storm has had practically every single base area at some point or another. Certainly fought on it and helped rebuild it with people anyway. I used to get very good at that and quite a few cool tricks when it came to actually building a base. Right, well, we're going to head back, cash this in, and see how much we actually get in XP for doing this. Return to the bar. So we shouldn't be getting a lot of XP, but we should be getting some XP, according to what someone's told me. But we'll see. I'm, I'm, this is kind of live testing. Where are we? Almost pure north. I've still got three minutes left on the beacon, so we may as well fly it. Um, no, 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 bat knife. Right, let's jump in here. Do strat, body, barkeep. Have to remember those two are there. It's quite a quick run by a wampus. Oh look, now the sun comes out. No, not with that music. The trance music. I'm almost guaranteed to send you to sleep. Right, Jay Smith, I've completed my task. That's a fair chunk of XP. It's not it's not capping it, but look. That's still quite a lot, just for tagging some uh, towers. I mean, not bad at all. So yes, you do get a bit of XP from it. At least when it's all going into research. I don't know how much you get in sort of just normal SK if you're, you know, levelling up through regular levels. I don't know. I might check that on Apotheosis just to see because that's got a kind of odd sort of XP cap on it. It's not the same as the others. It seems to be 10 million whatever on it. But it's quite a lot easier to get that 10 million. Right. Okay. So day in the life of Fatty. So he is getting there. He is simply getting there slowly. And we crashed again. <laughs> okay, folks. Bye for now.